EVs are always quieter than internal combustion cars, including hybrids, right? More on that later, but first, let's take a high-altitude look at the interior noise numbers we've been getting in all the cars we've tested so far and how we measure them. Right now, that's 40 models, representing 9 manufacturers, all of them tested at a 65 mile per hour cruising speed. They measured in two directions, under very calm conditions on a very level, typical road that extends for over one and a quarter miles. Ultimately, several miles of data is collected to get the two representative examples that are averaged. Now, if we're talking about TBAs, averaging these would be a little complicated, but here we're using a different unit you should know about, called the zone. Unlike the DBA, which is an entirely computed result that approximates how we perceive sound, the zone has been derived from juries of real people who score how loud various types of sounds actually seem to be. Moreover, its scale is linear, meaning 20 zones is twice as loud as 10. DBAs can get very misleading because it doesn't use a linear scale. Let's take a look at some results. Each brand is represented by its own little graph like this one. These dots here indicate the number of models we've tested from that brand and how well they scored on a 0 to 100% scale, with 50% being the average of all 40 tests. Green dots mean above average, red means below. The threshold for distinguishing whether one sound is louder than another is one zone. Here's how big that is on our scoring graph. As you can see, this difference isn't perceptible, but this one is. Here's all the results ranging from the quietest to the loudest brands we've tested. The quietest car has been the Kia EV6 Wind, followed by the Audi S7. The two making the most racket are the Toyota GR86 Sports Coupe and the Ford Bronco Badlands. Of course, they're really designed to do things other than being quiet. Oh, and that assumption that EVs are always quieter? Toyota's Prius Prime makes for a great opportunity to test this idea. Here's its results in its EV mode and then in its hybrid mode, meaning the engine's running. While in many situations, EVs are quieter, here at 65 miles per hour, road and aerodynamic noise are so prominent that, nope, their difference is within our one zone threshold of perception. Listen for yourself. EV. Hybrid. You can't tell the difference. 